and then we also had this really random I love announcement. it. I, I fucking um, love it. So Braun Breaker was a front runner at the time to be drafted in the WWE draft earlier this year. Most people thought it was a the most obvious person that was going to be taken, and he wasn't. Continued his feud with Carmelo Hayes, has since lost the title like matches that he was in like twice, I think against, <laughs> against Mello. Um, he's heel. So he's wearing a ba- black singlet because black is like evil and like, take me serious. Um, and then he challenged Seth Rollins to a world heavyweight title match. So I don't know if this is happening on raw. It might happen on raw. I'm not sure. Um, I think this could be a good match, but I'm, I'm more curious about, what this would lead to like is this Braun coming to the main roster or is this just another move like we said earlier of infusing NXT talent on the main roster and kind of like getting people familiar with the people in NXT to me what this says is that what they're gonna do is they screw not screwed up but they needed Braun to really flush out this heel persona okay and yeah it wasn't ready at draft time that's fine. The draft is not the NFL draft. You can get drafted yeah. or go wherever. That's wrestling. Yeah. Yeah. So what I see with this is that he's done in NXT. Okay. He's there's no need for him to be in NXT anymore. We we got it. What they did with Cena and KO when he just mm-hmm. showed up for that open challenge and then it was a feud. And then oh, he dropped the NXT title and he's on Raw. Mm-hmm. They dropped that on it, so it was a shock, whatever. Nowadays, they would rather hype it up, and that's all they're doing. It's just they are getting ahead of an open challenge surprise because it would be better if Braun Breaker announced it on NXT, get the people who aren't familiar with NXT, get them to be like, who is Braun Breaker, watch a couple of highlights, compilation videos. Now, like, oh, this is going to be a banger match. Have it on Raw, maybe. Have it on NXT so that you get the World Heavyweight Champion on NXT. Another way to legitimize the brand. That's what I heard is happening. I heard that Seth is going to make appearances on NXT, but I don't know how many. I don't know. I don't think the match is happening on Raw this you know following week. But um, I had read that there were there were rumblings of him being down in NXT. So I'm assuming this this is a match that'll be like drawn out a bit. Um, like it won't happen immediately. I mean, but imagine having Seth Rollins. And NXT, that's huge, That is man. really big. That's really big for your brand. Yeah, especially because, you know, no disrespect to the the guys that they've had down there in recent months. Like we said, Ziggler, New Day, Ali, they're Corbin. Great. They're great. They're, they're not Seth Rollins. So They're not Seth freaking Rollins. And and that, I feel like that might say a lot about how they feel about Braun Breaker because, you know, there I, there's been a lot of, um conflicting feelings on 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 him like, as a character and whatever and i think yeah it, it probably was the best move to make him a heel because i feel like depending on what they start as obviously this shows you that they can be both if they're successful at one or successful at both it, it shows you right there but if they're already thinking about having him go against the world heavyweight champion and that happens to be seth rollins i feel like that kind of tells you what they think of Braun Breaker at this moment. So, I mean, kudos to him. 